on guys it's mark from limo marketer here in huntington beach back with another video for you all and today i want to tra uh, talk about tracking your roi and tracking the different channels you're using for advertising i see lots and lots of limo businesses that aren't doing this they're spending a lot of money on marketing but they have no idea which of those marketing dollars are bringing more dollars back and so what we wanna do, uh, a, a couple things. First things first, if you are not tracking conversions, you might as well not be doing any sort of online advertising. I audit campaigns over and over where conversion tracking isn't set up. And when I ask them, why aren't you tracking conversions? They say, well, when they call on the phone, we ask them how they heard about us and they say Google. Okay, well, let me make one thing clear. When you ask someone how they found you online, most of the time they're gonna say Google, but they very well might have been on Yelp before they were on Google. Uh, they might have clicked on your Google Ads word ad and then gone to your website. What we wanna be finding out here is what, what channels are you spending money on? Okay, so first off, we've got a few channels here. We've got SEO, that's your, that's your website. And then we've got PPC, you know, that could be Google, could be Bing, it could be Facebook. Okay, so in a perfect world, this is what you would do. You would use a, a system, like a system, for example, I created. Uh, what this system does is it's a uh, CRM, and so when the lead comes in, it is tagged, okay? So tag your leads. The lead is tagged. So what that means is when the lead comes from, let's say it's a customer's website, it's going to have the URL of the website as the tag. If it's coming from their Google Ads campaign, the tag will say Google Ads or Bing Ads or Facebook Ads, okay? And we want all of these leads going into one central database. I'm sure a lot of you just use Outlook or you use Gmail and all of your leads go into your inbox. That is not the best way to do it. And if you have a, a large team or you have a couple sales reps and you're just using your email inbox and that's where all of the leads are going, then you are just wasting away tons and tons of ad spend because if the leads aren't going into a central place and there isn't some system around how those leads are dealt with, a lot of these leads are going to fall through the cracks, they won't be followed up with, and they won't be tracked, worst of all. In a perfect world, what you would be doing is using some sort of CRM where all of the leads funnel into, it tags each lead so that you see where the lead came from, and you're quoting events from, from the CRM. When, when uh, someone ends up booking, you are marking that contact as one, uh, or when they don't book, you mark it as lost. And so you know how many open quotes you have out, how many one quotes, how many lost quotes. And you know how many one quotes you have from Google or Bing or Facebook, how many lost quotes you have. Because over time, what you're going to see is Okay, maybe Google Ads isn't providing you the type of customers that are booking. Okay, maybe you're spending too much, uh, your client acquisition cost on this channel, maybe, maybe it's too, too high. Okay, or, or maybe uh, your, your client acquisition cost on your Facebook ads is too high. Maybe your cost per lead is low, maybe you're paying $3 a lead, but out of 100 leads, you got one booking. So you just spent $300 to acquire that client. These are really important things to know. And without some sort of CRM that tags leads, it's hard to know this. Now the next best thing, and what I help some of my customers with, is using Google Sheets or Excel spreadsheet. Uh, I prefer Google Sheets. And so what we do is we send all of their leads into a Google Sheet and they're tagged. Again, we tag the leads 
Bing or Google ads. So they know, okay, at the end of the month, let's say on Google, they spent a thousand and on, and on Bing, they spent 500. But on Google, let's say they made 8,000, but on Bing, they made 6,000. What's the better investment? Bing ads, right? And this happens a lot because cost per clicks are less on Bing, therefore your cost per lead is less, your cost per client acquisition is less. But if you're not segmenting your leads and if you're not tagging your leads um, based on where they're coming from, you have no way of knowing what's working, what's not working. Whenever you do any sort of online marketing, if you're like most businesses I see and you're sending all of your traffic to your homepage, you're not tracking conversions, and you're spending a few thousand dollars a month on Google Ads. Um, this is especially bad if your website's ranked organically. You really have no idea what's working and what isn't. When we really look at how much money this can cost you, it might give you a stomach ache. I have a story of a client who I worked with three years ago, three and a half years ago now, who was spending $8,000 a month on Google Ads. They had me audit his campaign and come to find out his cost per lead was probably around $100. Okay, so he was getting 80 leads a month for $8,000 a month. Now you might ask, how did he not know that he was wasting all of this money? And that's a good question. Well, the reason he didn't know is his website was ranked number one organically and he was in the map pack number one for all of his main keywords. So he dominated his city in the organic search and the map pack. So he was getting a ton, a ton of leads from organic. And so he knew he was spending a lot of money with Google Ads and he just figured, okay, I'm getting a lot of leads from Google Ads and a lot of leads um, organically. Uh, he was getting a lot more organic leads than he thought he was. So within a month's time, we dropped him down to $3,500 a month spend and increased the number of leads he was getting, which was incredible results, right? So that's $5,500 a month he saved, which times 12 is what? $66,000 a year in savings. You know, over the course of five years, that's a third of a million dollars or more. So that's why this stuff is so important. So remember this, uh, this isn't going to be a long video, but I want you guys to remember this. If you aren't conversion tracking, which means um, when someone calls or fills out a form on your site, that call is recorded and it is attributed towards Google or Bing ads. So you want to be attributing your calls and your form leads. If you're using Limo Anywhere on your website and you aren't tracking that form's conversion rate, you have no idea how many people are going through to the second step of that form and leaving your website. I've tracked that for lots of different clients and the numbers are usually less than 1%. So talk about throwing away money. What I want you to remember is this, set up conversion tracking. If you need some help with that, just leave a comment below. We'll check out your campaign and help you set up the conversion tracking because it can be a little tricky because you have to place tags on your site and it just isn't a, a super easy thing to do, especially if you have an HTML site. So uh, just leave a comment below. We'd be glad to help you out. But make sure you're tracking your conversions. Uh, make sure you're using some sort of either CRM or a Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet. And when the leads go into that sheet, make sure they're getting tagged so you know the source of those leads so you can start figuring out which of the advertising platforms you want to continue with because the results might surprise you. You very well might find out Bing Ads is getting you an incredible return on your investment while Google Ads isn't. Maybe you stop doing Google Ads if your client acquisition cost is too high. Um, 
you know, maybe uh, you're, you're spending a ton of money on SEO and uh, the SEO agency doesn't know what the heck they're doing and you're just throwing that money away. If you're not tracking conversions, if you're not tagging your leads, at the end of the month, you have no idea what's working and what's not. Don't let that be you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.